your cop. Whoa! Oh my god, my spear! Dude, where's he at? Dude, my spear! What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back playing some seven days to die ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for coming to hang out with me we're back the day after the horde base we are uh or our first horde pardon me we are picking up the pieces of our terrible disaster yes this did not work at all uh it was a good idea it was, even though it didn't work, it wasn't a bad idea. And I have some ideas about how we can make this even better, uh, obviously. <laughs> but we're going to do a, a little bit of research. There's a lot of stuff and things we got to find out. Also, you guys were telling me that there was a lost episode that I was like, I didn't, I just didn't believe you at all. I did not believe that there was a lost episode. You guys were telling me there was a lost episode. There was some sort of uh, episode that was missing. I went back and checked out some stuff and things. It didn't take too long, to be honest with you. And I have no idea how it happened. I'm still quite confused about it. I checked some of my recordings. I looked up my dates. I, I really am not, not sure exactly how, it's, how it happened. But there was a lost episode. And uh, it's lost. I don't know. It was us beginning the base build of this horde base. So you kind of saw what was going on there. Um... And yeah, I have no idea how that happened. So I'm sorry that that happened. I apologize. And anybody that I said, I think there's a couple of people that talked to me and said there was a, a missing episode. And I was like, no, that's not a possibility. Um, but yeah, there was. So I apologize. I'm sorry that that happened. I don't know why. And I'm sorry if I said that you were a crazy person because uh, there was a lost episode. I am the crazy person. Uh, wait, what? We have water problem? What do we got going on over here? Thirsty? How are we so, why are we so thirsty? We just drank stuff and things. Let's drink a little bit more red tea here. Let's eat a little bit more food. Uh, so what we have to do now is do some complete redesigns. Obviously, this does not work at all. Now, I'm not discouraged. I feel like it's going to be great. I think that if we just do a little bit of work and a little bit of research, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, learning is important. And I feel like if we do a little bit of learning, it's going to help us quite a bit uh, moving forward uh, to get this going in the right direction. So wait, there's our iron shovel. Dude, we only have, oh wait, what? No, 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 no. We got a new level five iron shovel. Feels good. Let's go ahead. To start squirting some of the stuff back into the inventory is where it goes. Uh, shovel goes in that slot right there. That goes in that slot right there. Kniffy goes over there like so. We got a wrench in this area. There we go. We got a level two wrench right there. And then we need, need this pick too. Uh, eventually, we'll have the auger, so we won't need any of those things. And that's really what we're going to be focusing on now, guys. The auger is like the big technological advancement that we must, must, must get. Uh, it's going to allow us to actually build this base that I want to build. Uh, and we're not going to be able to really effectively do it without it. So, oh, dude, we got a level four spear? Sweet. Awesome, man. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that guy over there. We're just going to take care of some of our stuff and things. We want to make sure that we are. Did I accidentally hit God again? We want to make sure that we are scrapping the things that we don't need, obviously. Uh, but the things that we could sell that are worth a little bit of cash monies, like that guy's worth 62. It'll actually be worth more like 150 or something like that when we're done. Uh, this guy right here, uh, it's a little bit better armor class stuff, but I think we're just going to go ahead and scrap that guy. Uh, we have our miner's helmet, but we don't really need that anymore. We'll squirt that guy inside of there like that. See what I'm saying? We're getting organized, peeps, after our mm, fairly disastrous disaster. Uh, of a night last night. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. I have no idea why it was so bad. I feel like I don't even know. Like now thinking back on it, I, I just felt like uh, it was the pathing that we didn't really understand. We didn't really understand exactly how the pathing worked um, and we didn't make good choices uh, concerning how we set up our pathing. So that was our main, our main terrible disaster. Uh, so we're going to fix that. We're going to do better the next time. And that's part of the game. You know what I mean? That's part of seven days to die. The learning experience is that, you know, you make mistakes and you learn from it. Um, all right. So do we have any more red tea by any chance? I have 21 bottles of those guys. I have 40 crust Santa mums. All right. And then do we have any meats inside of there too? 50 of those guys. Let's pull out 25. So first and foremost, let's double check and make sure stuff and things are going correctly at the base over here. So inside of here, we're going to go ahead and get our grilled meat going like that. And then we will also get our red tea up and running. We we'll need a few of those guys. All right. So those are up and running. Feels good team. How long is it going to take? Six minutes. All right. So I think that we can really at this point set up our third forge. Uh, I feel like that's going to be pretty important for us to do. So let's take a look and see inside of here, the four gay. 
Small stones, clay soil, leather, duct tape, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's pop over here and see if we can get that going. A third forge is going to help us. Because in the future, we're going to need a lot of material. So we might as well start preparing for that now. These, 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 and these guys can go with me over to the new area. We need leather, pipes. Uh, what other stuff and things we need for the forge? Duct tape. We only have the three. Do we have any glue? Oh, man. We're such a noob. Uh, all right. So I think that's going to be it. That's the end of our duct tape. That means we have no more repair kits. Uh, this is this is yeah, we're, we're we're nowhere near as advanced as we are in my playthrough on YouTube So we have to do a little bit of grinding here ladies and gentlemen So where's that four gay at uh, and then inventory is clean Ish all right, so let's pop over here and put up our last forge or our third forge pardon me Like so and there you are right here. We'll squirt that guy down just like that All right, so do we have lo do we have any logs? All right, we have some logs right here We'll squirt, well, we're, we're real turned around there. We'll squirt those logs inside of there. Uh, then clay, we could start putting in maybe some of that. And what do we have inside of here? Just clay and just clay too. We'll squirt that guy down there. All right, so the other thing we really want to put inside of there is stone uh, and iron. But we don't have a ton of that stuff, I don't think. Let me see here. So there's more clay right there. Looks like we don't have any stone. We have 1,300. There we go, 30,000. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, I feel like we have more than that. We'll keep that in our inventory rate like that. And let's go ahead and start making sure we're getting some stone inside of here. That's going to help us in the future when we start doing our cement. So we'll put maybe like 7,500 in there, 7,500 in there, and then 5,000 inside of there. So we do have some iron in here. It's not too bad. All right. Those are looking pretty good. We'll go like this, like this, like this, and we'll squirt that in there. So we have a little bit of stone on us. All right. So uh, first order of business. We need to really focus on looting and the auger. That's what we need. Uh, so with this stuff in the inventories, you know what? Right now, I don't think we're going to need. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we need for repairing this guy? Yeah, we'll keep the wood and the stone. I want to make sure we're trying to get our inventory nice and cleaned up for a, a journey for us. So let's pop out of here like this. Let's go ahead and get into the bike. Let's head down uh, somewhere. We need to start doing some looting. Yeah, this town looks good. We already did this POI and this POI. I feel like this is where we're going to need to go. Let's go ahead and head into the town. We need to look for garages. What do you think? Dude, I'll have to look it up. There's certain things that we need to be looking at. Uh, for getting that auger and focusing on cars, I do believe garages can have the auger. Working stiffs, crates, those are all the things that we're gonna re really need to focus on. We've got to find this auger. We have it's day eight now, uh, not too much time. You know what I mean? Six days basically until we're able to do the second horde. We have a lot of work to get done. Okay then. Uh. What? We have a bedroll in our base, do we not? You guys, we died. Uh, I was in... Oh, I can't even believe how foggy it is right now. Oh, my God. Hold on. You guys, you guys, look how far we are from base. Uh, oh, my God. I don't have a bedroll over there. You're kidding me, man. Dude, you are freaking kidding me. Holy crap. Where is the... Dude, there's our body. Where's the red marker? I can barely see it. Oh, we have a long way to go, man. And we're cold. I'm going to go straight for it this direction. Dude, I didn't put a bedroll down? <laughs> no, nothing I can do with you, buddy. We got to head back this way, man. Uh, so I was in an army type base area place. I was in a room full of gasoline cans. I did not do anything to any of the gasoline cans. There was a zombie that was inside of there. And uh, I just went ahead and killed it. I didn't accidentally hit anything. I think a zombie came in from the side. And then hit the gas cans uh, and killed me. So, yeah, we died. Not good, man. Um, I already made a little bit of a run and got some items. So that was G's. Uh, not too bad. We got some bad hombres in the area and a long way to walk to get back. My God, I'm having such a hard time. You guys, we got to start grinding. That's the thing. You know, with the YouTube videos, the tough part is I want to make every video like something special for you guys. You know what I mean? I want to show you guys like something cool that happens. Now, the issue is with this game, there's part of Seven Days to Die, which is just gathering materials like over and over and over because you need tons of stuff. Uh, killing a lot of zombies. It's just a lot of like spending time looting. Uh, and so... We're going to have to do some of that. We're going to have to spend some time looting. Uh, we're, we just need to. We need a lot of items, and we need a lot of experience so we can get more skills. We need skills to pay the bills. Right now, if you're wondering what I'm working on. Oh, we got our two points. Uh, I want to get lucky looter level five, so I have to get my perception up to seven. 
So I'm going to do that, and then the next point right here, when we get one more, we'll go into Lucky Looter 5. We really want to get as much loot as we can with the least amount of effort possible. So, um, and hopefully that will also help us to get the auger going as well. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm focusing on right now. Ooh, it looks like we may have found another town. Dude, if this is like a working stiff steel, that would be friggin' the most amazing thing ever. I think this is a Poppin' Pills factory POI. I think that's what that is right there. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look here real quick. You know, without any of our armor on, man, oh man, I can run forever and ever. Let's grab some stuff and things. Maybe we can get something worth something. What is this? Is this the Poppin' Pills? Yeah, it is. It's the Poppin' Pill. So it's a Poppin' Pill POI. Uh, good for medicine stuff and things. But yeah, working stiffs is really the main thing that we want to focus on here. But, uh, all right. I think I know where I am, maybe. Okay, yeah. This is where we died, right there. All right, we're very close to where we died. Um... We already lost one of our spears, too, by the way. Sometimes when you throw a spear, you'll have an issue where... Please be a... Get... I want to auger. Uh, you'll have an issue when you throw a spear, and the spear will just kind of, like, go into the dirt, and it will be gone. Um, and that happened to one of my spears. Auger. Uh, oh, and then all these guys as well, uh, these candy tins and these lead weights that normally you would scrap. If you don't scrap those and you put them directly into the... Uh, if you put them directly into your forge, you'll get more stuff and things with those. So, uh, keep that in mind. Scrapping it does help you to have more in, uh, room in your inventory. But, the you know what I mean? You won't get as much. And later on, especially brass. Brass, lead you can mine. But brass, dude, don't... Uh, you should... No. You shouldn't be uh, scrapping any of that stuff. Because you're going to need a ton of it. Alright. Paintbrush. Meh. All right, where is this POI at that we were at? We were at, well, that wasn't really a POI. It was a little teeny uh, military deal. There were some military mines all around it. Come on, man. Show them the auger. That's what they want. That's what the people want. I'm just trying to see. Maybe I can even just find a weapon really quickly while I'm on my way over here. Maybe I can throw a doorknob at him. All right, right over this way is where we're going. We got to check these cars. No, not that car. This car. All right, this was not the place. This place right here was not the place. It was down over this way. We have to be very, very careful. It was surrounded by mines. Some nitrate on the ground right over there. Don't get hit. Don't hit a mine, Slip Gator. Oh, dog. No, no, not a dog. No, this is it right here. Oh, mines. Oh, go. Okay, go in. Oh, there's a bad ombre. Where's our dead body? There it is, right there. Look all the stuff and things. All right, we got our, we got our deal. All right, we're back. All right, we're back. All right. Oh, my God. Can I have my spear back? Thank you so much. Okay, so we got all of our stuff and things back. We have a lot of stuff inside of here now. Uh, still no auger, though. But, yeah, that's... Uh, mm -hmm, we died, for sure. Really died. <laughs> and we're back! The last couple of hours have been fairly monotonous. I've been working my way through the town street by street, uh, hitting a couple of buildings here and there, focusing mostly on vehicles and garages. Uh, looking for working stiff stuff and things and then I thought you know what guys. Let's just take a second man Let's do this POI. I wait 600 meters away 680 Is this it right here? I think there's a we have this POI kill some zombie uh, Football players and I think that's over inside of here So I did find some cool stuff. We have a level 5 wrench now level 5 knife now I found the steel pickaxe, which is great. How many deals is this 2500? You know what we might do instead? Yeah, why don't we? <laughs> easy mode much much easier than going over or going through is going over and then we could check out some of the stuff and I figured we'd do this little POA together cotton seeds yeah, we will take everything for right now and see what we can see so we're checking all the sedans of course for augurgers dude we're scrapping those wire tools I know I'm gonna have a huge amount of those guys what do you got over here for me homie come on auger me dude oh my god I can't even tell you how many Dude, what is this place? I can't even tell you how many cars I've searched, man. It's like unbelievable. All right, little spiral staircase. Oh, we are in. Dude, right in your area. Ugh, that must have hurt. All right, so I think we're supposed to go here. It's set, oh no, 700 meters away? Dude, we're, we have to start the little POI. Where are we supposed to go? I bet you it's probably in the other direction here. I think there's gonna be a little, uh, a little exclamation mark. Oh, hey, lady. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. She's a little active. Active lady. Uh, yeah, so I'm figuring what we're going to have to do is head over into this early direction. I'm assuming that... Oh, dude, there's another one? Dude, she's so pissed. Oh, my God. She's so pissed. Oh, get wrecked. 
I just assumed. I just assumed that this is where we were trying to go over by the uh, football field, but it looks like it's over here is where we're supposed to kill the zombie football flares. I don't even know. Let's go ahead and pop up over here and see. Are they going to like come at me, bro? How's this going to happen? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow, this is really fat. Oh, wow, they're very fat. Ah! I'm rocked. Dude, that was crazy. Dude, that was it. Awesome, man. Dude, that was so easy. All right. Not bad at all. That was way easier than I thought. It was a little scary there for a second, but I think we got it. Uh, nothing major and amazing from anybody, but it looks like we have to head back to the trader. Now, I'm not really quite ready to do that. I think we are going to head over right here. Where are you, dude? Uh, this guy. I think we're going to check out that, that point of interest. Uh, the football field and see what we can see over there. We got to get some stuff and things, but I spent a lot of time looking for the auger. I'm ready to do a little adventuring. We're going in, peeps. We're here at the football deal. It's time to get friggin' real. Uh, I need some XPs. I need some stuff and things. Like I said, I figured we'd do a little adventuring here and see what we got going on. We have a lot of stuff in our inventory right now. It wouldn't be probably good to go back home, especially considering that it's getting a little bit late, but I just don't want to, man. I want to get stuff and things done. Chrysanthemum seeds. Can we scrap them? now? we'll chuck them, man. We'll just chuck them out of there. There's no need. Unlocked. What do you got for me inside of here? Where are you at? What? What? I don't hear anybody. Uh, all right. So we are still on the hunt, hopefully for the auger. We'll never, I don't think we'll find it inside of here unless we find some good crates. We have to keep our eyes peeled for, uh, are you coming around here, man? I see some, I hear some, a lot of bad hombres. All right. Uh, we could be, uh, harvesting up those sinks and stuff like that. I don't think we're, that we're going to. Um, I'm really just looking for working stiffs, crates, and what other amazing treasures, any other amazing treasures that are here. There's a bunch of these guys. Look at this, man. Ooh, hunter stuff and things. A little bit of paper is good for shotgun stuff later on. Oh, dude, those were BDU stuff. Whoops. Uh, scrap, grab, scrap, a jacket. Puffer coat would be a more, uh, beneficial for later on if we go into a cold area. Dude, ski goggles, that's agility, right? They're actually, well, they're only worth 100. I'm going to scrap those guys, too. All right. What do you got for me over inside of here? Water. We got to be keeping our eyes peeled for the... Uh, oh, level four uh, wrench isn't bad. We're going to be keeping our eyes peeled for lanterns pointing us in the direction that we're supposed to go in order to do stuff and things in this POI. Dude, that grab was unbelievable. Unprecedented long-distance grabbing. Dude, look at that guy over there. Oh, is that a football player? Dude, I think that... I don't even know. Do all the football players run super fast? Oh, dude, they do. Oh crap, oh my god. Give me the spear! Dude, this is bad. Those guys are hard, man. Holy crap. Dude, those football players are crazy hard. What time is it? 20? Dude, maybe we need to head back to base. This might be a POI that would benefit from the gathering up of a gun. Maybe we should go back to base, wait for tomorrow. Like, yeah, you know what? Let's do that, man. Let's unload all of our stuff and things. Back at base. We have a full haul. The bike is full. The inventory is nearly full. Uh, we'll go back, unload all of our stuff and things. It's 2037 right now. It's getting a little bit late. Then we can uh, do a little bit of crafting overnight, maybe a little bit of building. I have idea. Oh, there's cars galore over here. Dude, please auger me. Please auger me. Dude, you got to do it. I have some ideas for the new base, by the way. Uh, the new horde base. Um, I think that what we're going to do is a maze. Now, I've been looking on the internet. There's a couple of different things that are going on here. I'm trying to gather up a lot of information about how the pathing works. Because obviously, we made some mistakes with the pre... Oh, bellows. Dude, I'll take that. That's not a bad find. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh, oh, no. We can't, keep we can't get that blueberry seed. So, I've been doing a lot of... Uh research on pathing and how that works and i think what i wanted to do i was thinking about doing a pit but the problem with doing a pit is that you're gonna end up uh, at a later stage getting zombies that are the demolition type zombies and those guys are gonna blow up in your pit like there's just no way around it and i really like the idea of the pit and we're gonna be building something like it uh i need to grab that duct tape we're gonna be building something like it uh in our playthrough on twitch um for our regular base defense, because the regular base defense for right now is pretty straightforward. It's just kind of screamers and stuff like that. It's no big whoop. Oh, that bus maybe. Mm, I don't. Yeah, I don't think they come in buses. Yeah, we don't need any of those guys. Um, 
So yeah, a regular base is gonna have a pit, and that's just gonna be for like automated defense of screamers. Um, we're gonna have an area on there near where our forges are that's like a pit deal, and if screamers come and scream, they'll just fall down into the pit. That's what I'm gonna try to do, uh, and we're gonna see how that's gonna work. But for our horde base here, I think we're gonna go with a made maze base with traps. Um, and I have seen a couple of people do some stuff and things like that on the internet. I'm gonna try to do something original. Um, and there's a couple really simple designs. So that means we're gonna have to start to get into uh, getting some traps going. If we pop inside of here, are there, can I search traps? The penetrator, that's for weak our armor stuff and things, animal tracker, the infiltrator. Uh, I don't know where the trap stuff is. Uh, if we go inside of here, can we build any traps? Let me see here, the iron spike traps, dart traps that are locked with neither schematic or advanced engineering, blade traps, Schematic or advanced engineering. Uh, and then what about trip wires or the stun? Oh, there's the trip wire. Uh, stun batons. Dude, what are those other wires called? Well, let me see here. If we pop into advanced engineering, add uh, advanced engineering right there. We already have two of craft jennies, build advanced defense systems such as ele electrical fences. That's what I want to get into. Dude, how much do we need? We have zero points available. Intellect level six. In order to make that happen, we're at intellect four. We would need one, three. We need four points. We need a lot to get that going straight away. Um, we could start working on the maze base just regular, like a regular uh, above ground deal over here, uh, and then end up putting our traps in a little bit later. And I think the hordes will be fairly easy enough for us early game in order to take them out with just like uh, guns and stuff like that. So we're gonna play around with that. I'm gonna uh, come over here, like I said, unload all my stuff and things. We're gonna wait till tomorrow and then we're gonna head back over to the uh, football field deal. Back in the wee morning hours, ready to rock and roll. And we have a gun, that's right. Guns, ladies and gentlemen. I figured why wouldn't we gun a little bit, you know? It's just gonna be great for us to do that. So I figured we'd bring a nine mil. We don't use it a whole heck of a lot. And uh, it would be good for this POI, I do believe. I think we'll just use our spear for most of the things. We're going to go ahead and take a look around here and get some loot, uh, hot loot action going. I'm really hoping we find some crates or something like that. Well, whoops. Oh, dude, I might have to change where that is. Because all my... I'm just so used to it being on my two slot. All right, we'll grab that guy. Uh, yeah, like that. And then uh, like so and like so. So uh, I really don't think, dude, there's a lot of chrysanthemum blueprints here. I don't really believe that we're gonna find a whole hell of a lot of working stiff stuff here in this POI, uh, but it might as, you know, it's worth a shot, man. It's worth a shot. What the crap was that? Wait, what? I saw, oh, strawberry, snowberry plant. Oh, okay. Dude, these are like blocks. I didn't make these blocks. Are these supposed to be like benches? Dude, these are not my blocks. I feel like those are supposed to be benches. That's weird, man. It's like one of the only places I've seen kind of something like that. It looks like a player built it, but it wasn't a player. Uh, all right, so we got that guy over there. We kind of did this area here. I wonder if this POI is like worth anything. Kind of feels like so far ain't much here. We could, uh, you know what I mean, scrap all the sinks and stuff like that, but I'm not too super worried about it right now. I can go back and do it here at the end uh, off camera with you guys. I really want to try to find like the cool stuff and things that is here. Uh, is there an up? Dude, there must be an up. We already got that trash can, right? We already got that trash can. Hey, what's up, homie? <laughs> Did you see that kid? Dude, it weird. Weird little build right over there. Murky waters, most likely, from all of these guys. A handgun. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that. Whoa, I accidentally... No, don't scrap that. I'm gonna scrap the handgun. Some coffee beans and some coffee beans. So far, I don't know about this, man. All right. Right inside of here, we should have some bad hombres. Dude, I don't know if we needed the gun, man. This is too easy mode. This is so easy mode. Scrap and scrap. Uh Oh, magazine extender mod schematic. Nice. Dude, that's a good find. Dude, a lot of hats. This place had a lot of cats. Puffer coat. So I'm going to keep that puffer coat. I'm going to need that if you ever want to go up north. Uh, so we'll keep that guy. And you. Jacket, bandana. All right. And then probably some more garbage. Dude, is there an upper floor? And then we saw this right here. Go ahead and learn that schematic. Dude, there's got to be. Is this this? Is this it? This is the whole POI is just that? 
Like, I feel like there's gotta be something up top or something else here for us to do. I thought that there would be like all sorts of, uh, I don't know, additional stuff and things. Maybe there's like, an, mm, maybe up on the bleachers? Yeah, we didn't check up uh, inside of here. Let's see what's going on up in the bleacher area. But I thought there'd be like a lot more to this. Dude, is there something up in here? Oh, okay, here we go. There's gotta be something up here, right? This is like where the stuff and things are. Uh, random deal. Right in your cop. Whoa! Oh my god, my spear! Dude, where's he at? Dude, my spear! What the hell? Where did he fall? Oh, there's no way I'll ever find it. Dude, you have to get it really quick too or it's gone. <laughs> Where in the hell? There he is. My spear! We got it back! Yes! Unbelievable and amazing! Oh my god. Dude, we launched that kid like you never saw. That was excellent. And we got our spear back. I don't know if this spear is special. Is it some kind of magical powers? Is it like a, a anti-Minecraft feather falling spear, perhaps? I don't even know. That is unbelievable and amazing. All right, up inside of here. Anything underneath there? No, just double checking. Uh, and a locked door, I'm assuming. We will have bad hombres inside of here. Oh, a whole batch of them. Is it time to bust out? Yield the gun. Get wrecked. What? In the head? Are you done now? Dude, two working stiffs. Wait. Oh, here's stuff. Somebody's over here. Where you at? I can't get her in the head. It's all good. What? You're still alive? Dude, this gun sucks. What? Nailed it. All right, let's go inside here. Oh, wait, what? Dude, how did that happen? All right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get that thing last. I'm getting that thing last. Hunting rifle, scrap it, level two junk turret, couple of bullets. Yeah, yay. Uh, oh, there's some safes down over here too. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. No, let's unlock, let's unlock these. All right, let's unlock some stuff and things here. Let's get all these safes unlocked. Safe number one. Ooh, not bad. You know what? We're going to keep the shotgun, too. I just noticed we don't have any shotguns. Uh, uh, we have a level three hunting rifle there. A nice level two pistol and a four bat we can sell. Uh, bandolier mod. That's cool, man. And a, a nice kniffy. We already have a level five of that, though. That bandolier mod. Let me take a look and see here. We can modify this guy. Oh, no, we can't. That's only a level one deal. Oh, dude, we have mods in all of our stuff and things. We can modify nothing. Oh, wait, can we modify this? No, that's got two slots, and we already put armor in there. Well, when we get other stuff and things, maybe we can do it. Safe number three, iron spear, scrap, level three wooden bow. We will sell uh, some bullets and another one of those. All right, guys, this is the big moment right here, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, I never get any augers. Oh, my God. I can't even believe we didn't get an auger on there. Uh, do you guys think there's anything up top all the way? I mean, I mean, who could even say? There's a bag. Secret bag of augers? No. <laughs> Padded leather boots, leather boots, and a flashlight. It looks like we could have walked right up there on the ladder, but that ain't no fun. All right. Well, so much for this POI. I thought there'd be more stuff and things here, but it doesn't look like there is. Uh, the, the, uh, I guess it's time to head back to base. Back at base, ladies and gentlemen, and we have made some technological advancements. I'm going to show you all about it. Uh, yeah, let's go with, no, we want a paintbrush, and then I need this to be, uh, let's go over here like this, and we will texture picker, and then we will go ahead and paint these. I put hay bales down there. We're going to paint them as uh, concrete, and those will help in case we fall down the ladder. Uh, they act as a little bit of a support, so uh, a little bit of a feather falling type deal. Maybe slime block type stuff in things. Also over here, we got two of these bad hombres up and running. Cement mixers. Now, we're going to need this to make concrete mix. Uh, and that means we're going to need a lot of crushed sand and small stone. I went ahead and started crafting up. Uh, yeah, we have some in here. A little bit of cement. Preemptive cement. 
Because eventually we're going to build kind of everything out of this. We're not even going to bother with wood anymore. Um, so I kind of got, got that started, making sure I'm managing my uh, forges really, really good. Uh, I organized all my stuff and things. I think I need to go on a cell run here. So I need to grab all of this stuff. Actually, we can just go like that. And then I'm going to head over to Trader Joel's and go ahead and sell all of those things. Uh, oh, crap. You know what? Do you have stuff and things inside of here still? Yeah, we do. Well, I'm going to head over there right now. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. You know, this is one of the parts of seven days that's kind of frustrating. On our Twitch playthrough at twitch.tv slash slipgator, uh, it took us a long time to find an auger. Like, a really long time. And once you do, man, it changes the game. Like, it really, really does. So, um, there's other ways we can get it. We can get it through questing uh, from the Trader Joel's. We can get it through uh, just getting the engineering skill uh, and then building one ourselves. Um, I think we, no matter what we do, though, don't we need a schematic no matter what? So that means that we need some um, crack of books or uh, finding some more working stiffs, tools, places. I know that there are like none of those near me. There's like no working stiffs around this area at all. So it is what it is. We're going to find it. I'll probably end up doing some off camera stuff and things. And I know uh, that'll just be to save you guys from me doing POI after POI until we find one. So yeah, for right now, let's go ahead and just finish up. I will show you what we get for selling all the stuff and things. Uh, let me see here. We're going to do some repairs. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit expensive on the repair kits, but it'll be worth all these things right here. Like something worth 200, that's at half, it'll be worth 400. That's worth 352 at half, it'll be worth like 700. That guy right there, yeah, maybe not. That guy right there will be worth more. This will be worth significantly more. That I think will leave. That 169 will repair. That will repair. What about these guns? Dude, that's going to be pretty good, man. This is going to be a lot of repair tools, but I'm willing to do it. Let's get some of these guys replaced. Oh, he's not going to buy some of these crap because we have too many. Well, we'll see how it goes here. All right, let's go ahead and... What's, what's going on here? There we go. And then let's sell these guys. Nerdy glasses are worth 200 bucks. That Magnum, you know what? We should probably repair that guy too. Come back and tell your friends. I will there, buddy, homie man person. Uh, I think that's because I have DM mode on or something. Uh, those damn screenshots. Uh, 5,900. Let's see here. Oh, man, for a second there, I didn't think he was going to buy that guy. Oh, he won't buy that level three hunting rifle. Dude, $50,000, man. Just real quick, you got an auger here for me? Do, I, do caps matter? I don't think they do. Uh, what about in your secret stash deal? You got any auger stuff and things? Motorcycle handlebars for 6000 bucks, Dude, we're going to have to get into that motorcycle here pretty quick. Sniper volume two. These books, when we have a lot more cash, I'll buy books. But for right now, I don't think that's going to be a thing. Uh, some glue, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has anything that we need. But we made a little bit of cashola, so that was good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Thank Make sure if you like the video, shh, don't forget. Soon. I'm trying to get new merchandise uh, daily. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do my outro. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you had fun, subscribe for more. Come check us out at twitch.tv slash slipgator. We are there Monday through Friday doing seven things, 5 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we would love to have you come over if you are a normal human with a fully formed brain. Thank you so much for watching, and may the stuff and things be with you!